Hey everyone, welcome back. In version 2.0, we've got another top tier character, Lingguang. A top tier supporter, not only for fire team, but also for any other team. With some investment, she can even take on the role of a main dealer. Without any further ado, let's start the guide. Lingguang is a trace type unit with an interesting mechanism. Firstly, she has three modes, start mode, ignite mode, and a flame mode. But let's just call it a normal mode, enhanced mode, and buff mode for simplicity. Normal mode is your starting point when you enter in combat. Enhanced mode is indicated when the skill icon is highlighted with a yellow circle. Buff mode is marked by numbers on the skill icon with an additional circle running around it. Her normal attack consists of 5 animations, and force strike and fifth strike can transition between normal and enhanced mode upon hitting. The fifth strike also grants a trace upon hitting. Using normal attacks after any skill in normal or enhanced mode starts from the first strike. Additionally, pressing normal attack during skill 1 or skill 2 in normal mode interrupts the skill and launches the first strike of normal attack immediately. Skill 1, skill 2, and skill 3 deals damage in both normal and enhanced mode. All skills have same damage in normal mode. The only difference is skill 3 changes the mode to enhanced mode upon hitting. In enhanced mode, skill 1 and skill 2 have same damage. Skill 3 has slightly higher damage and can change the mode to normal mode upon hitting. Every skill grants a trace upon hitting and it is considered as continuous casting if you use skill again within 10 seconds from previous skill. If you cast 4 continuous skill, you will get into buff mode for 10 seconds. In this mode, you need 4 traces to use a skill. You can get into buff mode even without hitting the enemy as long as you cast 4 continuous skills. So if you don't have enough trace in buff mode, quickly use normal attack to gain trace. As I mentioned earlier, this buff mode lasts for 10 seconds only. And even if you didn't use skill and save traces, you need to cast 4 continuous skills to get into buff mode again. Also, buff mode will last for 10 seconds even if you use skill in this mode. And you get back to normal mode once the buff mode ends. Each skill in buff mode has different effects applying to all team members. And casting any skill in buff mode grants a damage buff called Burning Sun for 7 seconds. The skill 1 in buff mode deals damage and grants a shield based on max HP of Lingguang. The skill 2 in buff mode deals damage and gains a damage buff if your HP is below 70%. The buff amount increases with lower HP. The skill 3 in buff mode deals damage and gains a damage buff if your HP is above 50%. The buff amount increases with higher HP. Ultimate skill provides a damage buff for 7 seconds. It's just for your information, you can check these buff with marks above HP bar. When you have the burning sun effect, this small wing at the bottom lightens up. When you have the damage buff from buff skill 2, the left wing lightens up. When you have the damage buff from buff skill 3, the right wing lightens up. When you have the damage buff from the ultimate, the top crown lightens up. Lingguang's gameplay is straightforward. Use any skill 4 times to enter buff mode with 4 traces. Then use skill in buff mode based on the situation and repeat the process. If you enter buff mode without a 4 trace, it means some skills miss the enemy. So quickly use normal attacks to gain additional traces. Also, you can combine any 4 skills to get into buff mode. Her skill does not have cooldown and damage output is also quite similar between skills. So you can try and make your own combination. The fastest way to get port traces is using the mechanism of normal attack can interrupt the skill. You remember press normal attack during skill 1 or skill 2 in normal mode will interrupt the skill and launch force strike of normal attack. However, if you use skill again before her back flipping motion from force strike of normal attack, it also cancels the motion of normal attack and launch the skill immediately. So if you use these mechanics, you can get into buff mode with 4 traces quite quickly. Just repeat skill 1 and normal attack back and forth. This also works with skill 2. Just note that this method will decrease the damage output from skill 1 or skill 2 in normal mode, as the skills cannot be fully launched. Also, if you use her as supporter with AI, you don't really need to care about all this. Just don't forget to equip this chip when you use her. Red code is good for general supporting. 
This could be enhancing the value of the shield from skill 1 in buff mode and adding defensive bonuses to skill 2 with a healing effect for skill 3 in buff mode. The last code enhances the effects further if there is a shield from the skill 1 in buff mode. The ultimate skill now increases the attack of team members by 50% for 5 seconds. So this code is good for general supporting for any team. Blue code is good for fire team support. This code can lower the fire resistance of enemy and increases the fire damage of team members. This code is ideal for a fire damage focused team. Yellow code turns Lingguang into a main dealer. However, please note that this is only recommended with a high investment in her including a signature functor. There's some skill thesis writing going on here but let's check it out together anyway. Now all effects from buff mode only applies to Lingguang only and get additional attack bonus based on her max HP. Second code removes Numar and enhanced mode. Lingguang is fixed to buff mode and there's no more 10 seconds lasting rule too. As you remember, buff mode need 4 traces to use skill. Now, by holding the normal attack button, you can use same skills as normal and enhanced mode. Each of 5 strike from normal attack can trigger different skills from normal and enhanced mode by press and hold the normal attack button. Let's call it a hold attack. You need to gain 4 traces by using this hold attack and normal attack then use skills in buff mode. In this code, you can use skills in buff mode whenever you get 4 traces. Hold attack from first strike of normal attack can trigger skill 1 in normal mode. If you use normal attack after skill 1, it starts from second strike of normal attack. Hold attack from second strike of normal attack can trigger skill 2 in normal mode. And normal attack starts from third strike after this skill. Hold attack from third strike of normal attack can trigger skill 1 in enhanced mode. Normal attack starts from first strike after this skill. Hold the attack from first strike can trigger skill 2 in enhanced mode. Normal attack start from the fifth strike after this skill. Hold the attack from fifth strike can trigger skill 3 in normal mode. And normal attack starts from fourth strike after this skill. If you use normal attack while using skill 3 in normal mode, it can trigger skill 3 in enhanced mode. And normal attack after this skill starts from first strike again. It sounds a bit complicated, but you will get used to it once you try it by yourself. Also, interrupting the skill 1 or 2 with normal attack is also working in this code. Last code gives strong damage buff for 7 seconds if you use 4 different skills when you trigger skill 3 in enhanced mode. This buff will lighten up the mark as enter. Same as other code, you can try and make your own combo as you like. I will show you one standard combo for your reference. Let's see it with Doomer Speed first. First hold attack triggers skill 1 in normal mode and grants 1 trace. Since the skill 1 motion is too long, we use second hold attack right after you get first trace. It triggers first strike of normal attack followed by skill 2 in enhanced mode. Another hold attack now triggers fifth strike of normal attack followed by skill 3 in normal mode. Press normal attack while using skill 3 triggers skill 3 in enhanced mode. And trigger the buff since you use 4 different skills. Use buff skill 1 to get shield first and repeat the combo. Since we have damage buff, we can skip one skill from previous combo. So replace second hold attack with normal attack to get 4 traces a little bit faster. Then use buff skill 3 and repeat combo from beginning again. This is not a fixed combo, so you can use whichever skill you want. Signature functor is highly recommended for Lingguang. Her supporting ability can be improved even further with critical rate bonus. Like Hera, she can be in any team as supporter, so you can give the free signature functor from Xu Yang giveaway to Lingguang first. Go for this new sigil from event and nibel for supporting and all for more damage. For instance, you can choose user damage options together with ultimate skill charge and increase max HP, as her shield value increased based on her max HP. 
also Yellow Code gives additional attack bonus on her max HP, so it has higher value for Lingguang. And please check out the chart for Warf on the screen. Lingguang is recommended to team up with Jinu as I mentioned in Jinu guide video. But if you want, you can put Lingguang in any team as a supporter, include fire damage team. So that's pretty much about Lingguang guide. As you can see, she has a really good supporting ability with looks, makes her a top tier character. I highly recommend to pull her and I hope this guide can help you in learning about Lingguang. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye guys.